this video you're going to need an acrylic brush, some coloured acrylic powders and some monomer. Okay, so I like to start off just by getting a nice little bead of acrylic, leaning out the back of your brush, trying to keep a fairly, fairly dry ratio because you don't want to just kind of put your acrylic onto the nail and it just flatten out like a pancake. You want it to kind of just be sitting there and able to mold a little bit like putty. I like to come in now and just get a little 3D brush and really start to taper the sides and take it around just as if you would to try and draw a love heart. Then you can just kind of split the love heart at the top because I love the big fat sides of a heart. That's what kind of creates some shape. Now in my classes I do give a little tip on what I do to be able to make the acrylic a little bit more workable. Um, you can either use white acrylic or you can just use coloured acrylic powders and in this one I've used the Valentino Acrylic Beauty Pure. Now I like to kind of just put a little bit of interest on the nails so I kind of don't like to do them straight in a line, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. I've just tried to put a little bit of a smaller bead to create a bit more interest. Once again split with the 3D acrylic brush down the middle and then I start to just taper in the sides. Now you might have to play around with this a bit. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of times where I felt like the tops of my heart seemed to be a little bit more rounder and fatter. So I just kind of take a tiny, tiny bit of acrylic and just simply put them on the ears of the hearts to make them a nice big fat round heart because who doesn't love lots of love? So once you're happy with your heart nails, they should turn out something like this. You can do baby ones and all sorts. Just really have a bit of fun in any color that you like. 